hello hello welcome back to our youtube channel if you're new here my name is Oluwakemi Ade Sola your favorite girl in the world and if you're a returning subscriber you know how we do it you already know how it is you know that I got mad mad love for you so mm, thank you for coming back to see my beautiful face of course <laughs> and for my new subscriber please please click on the subscribe button to get more content from your girl so today's video it's a review but not for a movie it is for a reality tv show that just dropped on netflix about two weeks ago so most of you would have definitely seen it and I remember that earlier in the year I said I wasn't going to be doing reviews because for movies and TV shows or whatever because my dad said I sound harsh like somebody asked him if I was paid to do a review on Alakada Reloaded because I sounded so harsh but it's not about me sounding harsh the thing is if I'm spending my time to watch um, a movie or a show or something Especially on an app that I have to pay for to have access to damn it. I expect nothing but the best like at least It should be above average, right? I'm paying to have access to this thing and I'm spending so much of my time to watch it So I expect something good at least So nobody paid me to do anything nobody paid me to and if you're following me on Instagram and Snapchat, if I watch a movie and it is very good, I put it up and I recommend for people to watch. So, yeah. So, today's review is going to be about a reality TV show that dropped on Netflix two weeks back titled Young, Famous and African. Yeah. So, the major characters were, I think there were about eight. Uh, Annie Divya... Swanky, Andile, Kele, DJ Naked, Kayim Bao, uh, Zari, the bus lady, and um, who else? Damon, Damon Platinum. Is that his Zid in his name? I'm not quite sure, but he's an artist. Andile is also an uh, Andile is a poet and an on air personality. Annie Macaulay is an entrepreneur and an actress. Swanky is a stylist, DJ Naked is a DJ, and Kele is, I'm not quite sure, she's Naked's girlfriend. Z Zara the bus lady is an entrepreneur as well. She, mm, yeah, she's an entrepreneur. I think she's from Uganda. Yes. So this is where the major, major people in this reality TV show, it's just centered on them. So my problem with this reality TV show is, first off, I feel like it wasn't well put together. It, was, it wasn't exactly low budget, but uh, okay, because if you say young, famous and African, I expect to see a lot of African countries there, not just the cast, but I mean traveling to different African countries to showcase the richness of our culture. But the entire thing was shot in South Africa. Like, that is not the only African country that exists. So I expected them to go to Nigeria, let us see how Annie and Swanky, how things are in Nigeria. Show us Nigeria, show us Uganda, show us Tanzania, show us South Africa. You know, I expected to see a lot of African countries here. That was my first problem. Then my second problem is the makeup and the hair styling i really don't know what was going on there you know at, in, in, in some scenes Kanye's wig started from here i don't know who laid it for her but mm -mm, or who wore that wig those wigs for her it's here and her makeup her foundation is like not even the color of her face or her skin everything just wasn't given what it was supposed to give and styling that, that is the clothes the dressing I think I particularly had a problem with Annie's because she just kept on dressing like she was just going for a one year old birthday party, like lounge wears, like fun. Can you not see how everybody is giving us, like everybody's dressing 
accordingly and she she's just so reluctant i think at a point she even said oh why are people dressing so serious and the time she actually dressed serious it didn't really give and then swanky just kept at it with this cowboy thing like brah that was a lot but for everybody else yeah i think it was according and it gave what it was supposed what it was supposed uh, to give so that's that and um now let's talk about the characters i want this video to not be very very long so now the characters let me start with annie and two-faced Idibia. they've been married for 10 years they're nigerians they are both in the entertainment industry now we get it's a reality tv show we get it and this this show was just too scripted yeah we know all reality tv shows are scripted but this one is like the scripted of the scripted it was just too it was like they were trying to create chaos by force so they were they were particular about things that didn't even it didn't even matter for example there was this scene they were on the train and swanky was just shouting and while he was shouting he was saying they should not shout like this isn't something to shout about but bruh you're shouting over what is not it was like the cameraman the cameraman said action and swanky just started shouting like bruh it's not even up to that why are you shouting so it was like what he was shouting about is not even something to shout about and i get i get it that i can't teach someone how to express but this one it's, it does not even warrant shouting at all like at all like, like even the the, the the others were looking at him like is he on something because it was something that required like 20 percent of energy like to, to focus on and swanky gave it like a 200 percent it was just shouting i'm like you know i kept on going back going back to watch it maybe i missed something and with the women in the in the in this reality tv show it was like there was a struggle of power like there was a struggle of power especially between kanye 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 i don't know how to pronounce her name kanye Mbao and zari the boss lady um it's it's like there, there, there was a struggle of power like everybody was trying the, the, the ladies were tr all trying to be the center of attraction the center of focus you understand so there was quite much struggle of power and i feel like they all have self-esteem issue there's something wrong with all the ladies on that show now to the guys so the guys know the bro thing it was cute and all but now to andile and diamond ah uh, i don't get it diamond is your guy and really diamond is your guy like not your distant friend like that's like your guy guy and your iron is x like the back and forth flirts bit flirting between zari and andile i don't get it diamond is supposed to be your guy and you know your he was aware that they still have a kind of complicated relationship even though zari claims that Mm, there's nothing intimate between them they're just co-parenting but the scene that showed them together at diamond's party that was more than co-parenting definitely there are still ling lingering feelings there and i think zari enjoys this thing because everybody is quite like oh you still have this hold over diamond i think she likes it that she's in control to some to some extent um when it comes to diamond yeah I, I i see that she enjoys it because when people talk about it she has a smirk on her face like yeah i'm still that woman and i still have this power and old over him but uh, regardless i think andile should not have even should not have his eyes on her at all and then diamond is a whole lot but i like the fact that he accepted and he was true to himself by saying he is not a one woman man like he knows he's forever going to be everywhere because while he was with zari he had 
five other kids and he had two with Zari and I like that Zari respected herself enough to leave that relationship even though we're well, not exactly clear about that but okay now Nadia there, there's not so much entanglement going on in this reality show I liked it I love the drama but still they need to chill i think my favorite characters were andile and nadia nadia nakai she's a rapper uh she's cute she's mm -mm, i love her and but i feel she deserves better than diamond but there's this thing about those girls with like bad boys you know <laughs> because uh she'll probably have a baby or two for him and that would be the end and and um she already feels intimidated by zari i mean everybody on that show felt intimidated by zari because you know she has this confidence she has this courage she carries herself so well she's beautiful well spoken and i think zari knows that about herself so sometimes when she talks she talks people down it's like Ugh. she does that thing so um but if you're also well put together you have your own thing going on for you i don't think you should feel intimidated by yeah you can admire her admire her confidence but i don't think you should feel intimidated by all that though there are some people that naturally their aura you know when they enter a room there's a kind of way people are attracted to them like oh yes this person is all that zari knows that about herself and she uses that to our advantage i don't think i really had, had a problem with that uh i think the part i didn't like was where she told two-face that his wife is insecure yes sis we can see that she is but it's because of what she has been through nothing gives you the right to tell someone's husband in her presence that she is insecure and two face just two of her just sat there saying eh, i don't know i don't know why things are like that bro no you should not let anybody be comfortable be that comfortable talking down your wife in your presence i know of course you shouldn't have slapped her or shouted but it could have subtly put her in a place like you don't talk about my woman like that like let her know that in future she cannot come to you and talk about your wife of 10 years like that you're not going to take it from her like who is she who is she that she feels she can say anything at any time uh so that's that who uh, are then kaylee and dj naked i really don't know i think these days relationships are a mess they are a lot to deal with and I don't see the spark between both of them. I think they're just probably good for each other's image. So they decided to stay in each other's life. But I don't see them going far. Like very, very far. Like DJ Naked is being intentional. You know, the old, he doesn't want to spend so much time with her. This, this, this. I don't think he loves her that much. Yes. That's it um then adile and zari really you guys don't mm, yeah i know the heart what want, wants what it wants but ugh, not your guys ex and not those eggs they are two kids together and they still have this relationship that diamond stays over spends the week so how nah don't even go there don't do that so there was a whole lot going on in this show but i i'll just give it a 50 50. i'll give it a 50 50. so not here to discourage you or anything please make sure you watch this show on netflix it's titled young famous and african and i also feel like they should have put people from other african countries you know there are so many countries in africa but their focus was nigeria i think we had three people from nigeria we had about four or five from south africa one tanzania one uganda and yeah that's it there's so many countries in africa so uh we're expecting a season two and uh, later and put out a word on her instagram that there was so much about her than I really want to focus on Annie and Two Faces relationship because it is a lot. 
and there's this thing about love they say love isn't just black and white there are gray areas of course you see that gray area <laughs> that is two ways that i this relationship that 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 is it it's just a lot and i feel like i don't understand it and i don't want to understand it as well uh so i don't want to give you guys all the juices and this reality tv show uh so guys go watch it it's titled young famous and african it's on netflix i hope you enjoy it and when you watch it please come back and tell me in the comment section what you think about it do you think i'm exaggerating or do you think i definitely missed some parts because i've watched this twice because i really wanted to get every detail so make sure you watch it young famous and african it's on netflix that's the end of today's video i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you haven't share this video with all of your friends leave a comment and of course follow me on my instagram it is at sugarated underscore i love you bye